Hey guys, I kind of wanted to make a video about my cat. <laughs> he got a crazy haircut last night, uh, because I wanted to be able to heal his wounds that he has on his head. What you're looking at is called feline demodex. And, um, well, feline demodex gatoi. And this is actually pretty rare in cats, but, um... In his case, it's a little bit different. Uh, this is a disease that's given from the mother to the kitten at birth. And if you guys, well, you guys probably don't know my cat that well, but he has suffered from uh, leukemia. And thanks to a lot of holistic medicine, he pulled a negative and he's still here with me and a survivor. And right now he is fighting against these mites and it's pretty much like a form of um well mange and uh from what i know every animal like wool mammal cats dogs even us humans we all have a form of demodex except for we have different forms on us humans we have demodex and it's on the uh eyelashes and the eyelashes uh we have these little tiny mites now because everyone or i would hope most everyone has really good immune systems it keeps the mite population down so there's not an overflow of parasites but if someone had a really weak immune system or was really stressed out the mite population would get out of control and you would lose your eyelashes and eyebrows so, same goes for my cat here with feline demodex gatui. It's gatui, it's so weird to say. He's suffering from the same thing. Even though he's conquered leukemia, he still has immune, like a weak immune system. So, considering he's in a new environment, and he's probably stressed out from that, and then he has a weak immune system because he's just been sick from birth, well... Now the parasites are running rampant. Now, if you guys are wondering what can cure this, there is a cure. And it's called Advantage Multi. There's different kinds of Advantage. Advantage 2 and Advantage Multi are completely different. The main uh, ingredient that takes care of this flesh-eating mite. Um, it mainly is okay, semectin, I think. But uh, the Advantage Multi is what you're going to want for your cat if your cat does happen to have this particular kind of mange. And there's no way to really tell what kind of mange he has or your cat has. So you need to go to a vet. They need to do a skin scraping and find out which kind of parasite it is because there's so many different types. It is not contagious to humans, so you can pet your cat and it is not contagious to other cats. Unless the other cat happens to have a weakened immune system too, then you're probably gonna have two cats with, a, with this kind of mite. Cause like I said, all cats have Demodex, we have Demodex, but it's only when your immune system is weak or you're stressed out that you can actually catch it. So for this one, G Demodex Gatoa is, uh, not contagious other cats, but it is contagious to him, <laughs> just to him, so, and it's not contagious to dogs either, so he can be around the dogs, he can be around the cats, he can be around me, but, uh, yeah, and I shaved him down so that way I could actually put ointment on him, he hasn't gotten his medicine in yet, unfortunately, um, I had to order it in, but, He's been doing a lot better. I put neem oil. I shaved him down, put the neem oil on him. I did um, iron peroxide, and he's looking a lot better. He was more swollen up around the ears, and he was running a really high fever. And I think him running the fever probably killed some of them off. That's why he's looking better today. But... If you notice your cat or dog is losing hair, do take them to a vet because you cannot quite tell which one that they have. So.
But hopefully in the next month all this redness will go away and his fur will start growing back for the time being. He's just going to rock his little mohawk down his back. Isn't that right? Chat out. Poor baby. <laughs> He's been through so much. You've been through so much, pal. Your fight's not over, but you'll get better. So, yeah, take your animals to the vets. <laughs>